So I got Ryan Brower from Top Flight based out of Milton, Delaware. It's been about two years. Talk to me a little bit about why you actually decided to rebrand in the first place. There's hundreds of companies in the area. Trying to build a reputation in that area was really tough with our old branding. We wanted to stand out. Uh, we wanted to be memorable and sticky, like you constantly mentioned. Yeah. That was one of the biggest things. We wanted to be seen, um, and now we certainly are. You had the word mechanical in, in the previous brand. Obviously, you had your last name as part of it with Brower Mechanical. What, what did that word do? Like, did Mrs. Jones understand it? Like, what happened with that? It was all of the time a client would ask us, what does mechanical mean? Or the ladies in the office would constantly receive calls from commercial clients looking for real mechanical work, which we don't do. What was your biggest fear about going through this process? The biggest fear for me was losing my reputation in the area because we carried the name for quite a few years. I was worried that as soon as we changed our name that they were going to think either we had sold or had been bought by another company or that we weren't locally owned and operated anymore. So those were some of my biggest fears. But through lots of guidance through your team, you know, the recommendation and once once we had gone through the entire process of what the name change would entail and what the benefits were, you know, it it became a no-brainer. And if, if I could go back and, and do it again, I'd change it every single time. It took how many years for you to get to the 600,000, which is what we were at when we renamed it? How many years did that take? That took two years. So that was at like our 20, 24 month area. We were doing like 680,000 in revenue with our old, old branding. And now this year, it's two years later, we're pacing almost 1.8 million is what we're yeah, looking we're at? Yeah, we're pacing for like 1.8, 1.9 million this year. Talk a little bit about what you have seen, even in terms of average tickets. First of all, even membership agreements, like how many membership agreements did you have two years ago and how many do you have today? Yeah, so two years ago, we had less than 100. Today, we have 900 and I think wow. 70 something. Dude, that is insane. Yeah. I don't know what the multiplier would be on average tickets. They have increased substantially. Okay. I would say before we rebranded, our average ticket was somewhere in the two to $300 range. Today, uh, average tickets are between 12 and $1,700. Wow. You had come from having a brand that was crowdsourced. What's the biggest difference between that experience and running through Kick Charge to get the branding. I just did a little bit of research and I found a crowdsourcing website. Uh, the process took like one week. Uh, it was very fast. I told them what the name was, what I was going for, and they sent me hundreds of different uh, concepts. They were all similar to each other and very you generic. Know, generic. <laughs> and then the process through kick charge, completely different. Uh, I felt like I was part of the process and the steps that we went through with kick charge to come up with, you know, the, the image that we were going for and all of the creative elements and design features and how everything would go together and fit our market properly. So you're two years into it. Has anything happened that's been unexpected after rebranding that you, you had no idea that this was something that you were gonna experience afterwards? I had no idea how many people would come up to me on a daily basis and say, we see your brand everywhere. Um, you must have hundreds of trucks on the road. We don't. I had no idea that it would increase revenue so much by making us look like a much more professional company. You know, we did fantastic work before, but now it looks the part. What's your favorite part of the brand? And we have a name for him, by the way, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah so this is Orville. Um, we did name him. It was a close second between Orville and Wilbur. Of course, <laughs> they were brothers. My favorite part is when we go into a home, whether it's one of our technicians or comfort advisors or, or myself, when a little child in the home loves the brand and they tell us about it. We can't thank you enough for allowing us to work with you on the brand. It's amazing seeing what you've done in just two short years and uh, I really can't wait to see what's next for Top Flight and, and how you guys just keep soaring. All right, thanks awesome. buddy. Thanks buddy.